Baby is safe and back with its mother tonight after being taken for a wild and dangerous ride. That tops our news at 6, a domestic dispute that escalated into a police chase with a little baby in the car. Yeah, that chase ran up I-75 from Flat Rock to Detroit yesterday afternoon, and the Border Patrol and its officers ended up making the arrest. Rod Maloney live tonight with a look at how this ended with the best possible outcome. Rod? Well, no doubt about it, because this started out as a possible kidnapping. It ended up being a child abduction case in the end, but that was what everybody was on edge about in the first place. Now, right here is the exact spot where the arrest actually happened, and it shows that police cooperation really matters in a case like this. This picture will tell you everything you need to know about how this all ended. A border patrol agent holding the child after police discovered her locked inside her father's SUV. They had to break the SUV's window to recover her. Soon thereafter, they handed her off to her frightened mother. It all started here at the Creekside Village Apartments in Flat Rock. An argument between mom and dad led this man, Flat Rock police identify as Dennis Deshaun Johnson of Detroit, to drive off with the child. They say he led police on a high-speed chase up I-75 North, Johnson getting off at the Fort Street and Schaefer exit. The Flat Rock scout car didn't make the unexpected sharp right-hand turn that the off-ramp has and wound up stuck in the dirt, tire marks still on the berm. They put out a call for assistance. Michigan State Police and Border Patrol officers in the area heard the call, and they found the suspect vehicle on the side of the road just a few hundred yards away on Fort Street. They say Johnson had somehow locked himself out of the vehicle. He gave up without a fight and now faces fleeing and eluding, fourth-degree child abuse and committing felony with a motor vehicle charges. Detroit Sector Border Patrol Chief Agent Robert Danley told Local 4 Today the rescue is a shining example of his agent's work. I see it over and over again, whether it's this situation or others, where our, our agents step up and go above and beyond to protect the most vulnerable uh, and in this case, it just happened to be a small child and very, very proud of the work that she did. Now, you may not have noticed, but uh, we looked very carefully and the SUV that the child was in had five bullet holes on the hood of the vehicle. So we asked the police department about that, Flat Rock Police. They told us no shots were fired in this incident whatsoever. They believe those bullet holes were there uh, prior to the event yesterday. But as we said, this child is home and safe with mom. And uh, there, there you have it. A lot of very happy people at the end of this very frightening situation. Back to you. Yeah, very frightening indeed. And Rod, did the father make bond in this case? Well, we're told that he is going to make bond, but he was being held this afternoon at the Flat Rock Police Department. They told us he was going to be transferred to the Wayne County Jail to meet whatever bond conditions he had, and then they believe he will be released. Yeah, all right. Glad the baby is safe. All right, thank you, Rod.